vicinity of Stonehenge. Archaeologists found the remains of a village. Soon, theories about Stonehenge serving... Hello everyone! Today we are playing with the Peafowl. They're from... SWK, I think is the name of the kennel they're from. Is the kennel the brief files from. This is Beth and Britt. They're two of my female peafowls. Then I have Port, who's the third. She's my favorite of my girls. Don't tell the other two. And then I have Knox, who is my favorite of my males. He is gorgeous. He's He's my favorite. And then Peter, who looks like a typical peafowl. And... Oop, I'm sorry, I forgot about Sally. Shame on me. And then Speckles. I ended up with two white female peafowls just because I needed... You know, I'm honestly not sure. Let's see here. Are you... Someone's offspring? No? I don't know why I don't have an even number of males and females. That is... Very, very odd. Oh, no, I forgot about Tony. That's, that's why there's two white females. Because I got one of each color and then needed an even number. But these are the peafowls. I'm honestly not sure how to tell Beth and Sally apart. Let's see here. No one's fixed, are they? No. No. Cool. So maybe we'll get some baby peafowls playing today. This is probably one of my favorite farm files. I I enjoy it. Um, it's very pretty. You can see on um Peter here. You can see his. The, the green. I end up using these files a lot in other hexes to the, the texture files. It's a silent breed, so not a lot of barking despite being a dog breed. Probably gonna turn the sound off on them just because the sound of the bowls is annoying. I'm taking pictures mostly to share over on the chat. Um, I don't know if any of them will catch a frisbee. They're the good birds. Should have just gone to the playpen. Maybe I will. Oh, it's set up for dogs, but they can play with dog toys. Oh, get this stuff out of here. Put this back in. Bird food. Bird food. That's a cat ball. There's bird food. Bird food. Maybe. Okay, you guys, you're pain in my butt. I don't know if I have a 
Ganges, Frisbee in the playpen. So I'm going to take, well, nah, I'll leave it here. Playpen. It doesn't look like I have the Frisbee here. Okay, that's something I can fix. I'll take this back. Hey, you can stay. Take you and you. I highly doubt dog food has any nutritional value for you. Will you move? Go to toy closet. The cleansing bath is performed Options. by a clear supply case. Let's see here. Some that only that destroy well, let's take them an apple. Or it's like apples, right? Hindus, however, do not Wait, that can stay there. Do, 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 do. Jingle ball. Options. Clean up area. Go to playpen. You guys can have your apple. Now I'm going to change the background from snow to anything else. Okay. Thousands of pilgrims from all over the world have I don't really have anything birdish, it doesn't look like. Let's see here. That 150 years ago, Virgin Mary appeared here near the waterfall in the palm trees. A French priest, fearing superstition related to the vision, could spark violence among the baptized population. No, I've got hay. That'll work. That's farmish, at least, right, guys? However. No. Well, that's an interesting picture, so sure, we'll save it. So, dough became the most important place of pilgrimage in Haiti for all practitioners of voodoo, and the Virgin Mary of Carmel became the spiritual patron of the country. Well, I know, yes, we're back in the mother of all. You know, she performed her report, and whenever you come to her, you ask for something. If we're lucky, we'll get a pea baby. Pea chick, I think is what they're called. Like, got the pea hens, the pea cocks, pea fowl. Pea chicks make sense. And someone devoured that apple. It's already dead. Good job, guys. There you go. Have another apple. I forgot to grab a frisbee. That was the whole reason for going to the cl toy closet. Good job, Shade. Hey, oh, you guys are a pain in the butt. Clean up area. Go to playpen. Well, where'd the frisbee go? There we go. Maybe I'll get lucky and one of these guys will be, you know, a frisbee peacock. Can't be any worse than Monster is. is a world famous place of pilgrimage in the Balkan state of Bosnia. I do have them all out, right? Yes. Court likes that ball. On the 24th well, I I'm glad you girls like each other, but how about the boys? Come on, there we go. There we go. Peter's showing some interest. The question is, is, is it Beth or... Yeah. Hmm. 
The apparition supposedly happened on a hill in Cernica, between the cities of Medjugorje and Biagovic. The Virgin Mary, known as Gospel here, was dressed in white robes and the baby in her arms. The next day, four of the original six teenagers helped the family to visit the dead again and rejoin two others. The teenagers prayed and spoke with the Virgin Mary. Her message to them was to establish peace in the world. Since then, the Virgin Mary Oops, I hit the wrong button. There we go. Okay. However, only to us. The Phoenix looking one is Knox. He is oh, he's my favorite. Him's my good boy. He's my pretty, pretty boy. He's the one I want to have a baby. We'll see if they actually any of them even show any interest. Did you actually catch it? Oh, it looks like he actually caught the frisbee too. Score! My peacock catches a frisbee better than my dog. I feel like that's a bad meme. But this doesn't deter the millions of pilgrims who visit And now I've lost the frisbee, so I can't throw it anymore for him. Thanks, Knox. You're... Thanks. Where's the frisbee, Knox? Heard. Since I'm talking, where... I'm going to turn the mic on, and now I'm talking to them as well. So that that'll be fun. I I don't play with this turned on often, and we've got sleepy birds. Court, wake up! Court is the dusty colored hen, and I really want her and Knox to have a baby. I originally adopted them all to show them over on Amy's uh, farm form she was working on. And get them champed and breed them and so on and so forth. Obviously, I haven't bred them at all, but yeah. Seriously, Knox, what did you do with the frisbee? Yes, yes, yes. Everyone's mad at Peter. But where? Oh, where? Did the. What you gonna call it go? Was considered to be a symbol of change and transformation. Go away, Spec. It's gotta be over here. Table Mountain is viewed as a guy. Aha, found it. Which controls those who come from the west, east, from the old world to the new. Table Mountain is not only the symbol of He did. He moved it to off screen and that was very rude of him. It's Knox a is a turd. Knox the turd bird. There's his show name. Two streams running inside the mountain, which accumulate enormous energy, amplify the mental abilities of its visitors, and possess. And now no one cares about the frisbee. This makes Table Mountain an ideal place for practicing. I have no idea what you were just doing, Knox, but that was weird. that the mountain is made of special crystals that create. Um, romance going on between Peter and Speck, it looked like. Catch the frisbee, Knox. Ooh, ooh. Looks like one of the girls has got nope. Is home to a healing place, or rather, in this case, a healing object. Cloak with the image of Our Lady of Guadalupe. Well, that's awkward. The image was reportedly created in 1531 when it appeared on the tilma or outer garment of a native Mexican by the name of Juan Diego. According to reports mm -hmm. at the time, the image of the Virgin Mary. Okay, move your tail feathers. Thank you. Skin, and spoke with Juan Diego in the Aztec language. It's the most famous and revered image in not just Mexico, but the whole of South America. Pilgrims believe that the image can heal dun, from dun, the dun. Any disease. Some people hold the image in such high esteem that they crawl on their knees in penitence for several miles to the Basilica of 
to show respect for our humanity. Got a bird pile up going on, it looks like. Fetch the ball. Or the frisbee. Or, you know, ignore me, but pay attention to each other and give me pea chicks. One pea chicks. Most are able to fulfill that promise. The healing power of the image of Our Lady of Guadalupe has a strong tradition. Mexicans are so devoted to it that on the 12th of December they celebrate the festival of Our Lady of Guadalupe. From the end of the 17th century, the cloak was displayed in the Day of the Chapel. The enormous increase in visitors is had to be moved from the chapel to a basilica, and later to a new basilica which resembles a football stadium. How long will it be before even this basilica is too small to accommodate the Virgin Mary's visitors? Oh yeah, I've got to have that up for the chat. There we go. You want a Knox baby? Me too. I want Knox to have a baby so bad. I'm so pretty. I want him and a dusty hen. Her name is um, Court. I want her, him and Court to give me baby pea fowls. I'm going to double check that they're not, you know, fixed. Because... I'm a dipwad, and I wouldn't be surprised. Sit here waiting for babies. Can't have babies when someone's fixed. Okay, good news. No one's no one's fixed. So maybe, hopefully, someone will give me a baby pea fowl. Nature is the purest form of energy that has no equal in the West. Looks like we lost the frisbee again too, though. I'm going to blame Knox, because it's always his fault. Not even hit enough side. Knox, where'd it go? I need to work on updating my um, farm site, because these guys are supposed to be up on there, but they're not. I'm bad. <sighs> Aha! I found the frisbee! A peacock with Knox's red orange, but like white instead of the black would be a pretty combination too. In pose, um, let me go to a scene that's not full of toys. Go away, go away, go away. Everyone but Knox, go away, because I know Knox will pose for me. Da da da! Come on, Knox, go into a pose, pretty boy. Yes, yes, yes. That's very nice. They look really well, and they do really well in pose, actually. Um, they puff up, so it's very, very much a bird, like a bird does. Hey, no. Pose. You're being a jerk face. 
You've done it for me before. Anytime I don't want you to. Now that I do want you to, you're just like, nah, it's cool. Pose, you stupid bird. I will bring out Peter instead. I will. Yes, yes, get scared. Now pose. Ignore the cat. You're you're a pain in my butt. Go away. No, you pose. Come on, Knox. Stop breaking your neck and just pose for me. Come on, Knox. Well, fine. Knox is being a pain in the butt. We're going to bring out Peter instead. I warned him. Spinning in the circle. There we go. Yes, be angry with me, Peter, but pose. There we go. Come on. Come on. Oh, chuckles go away. You don't even like them. They're dogs breeds. You get grumpy. This is how the customer tried dead bodies in the desert to begin with. Later, the practice developed into artificial. Come on. All internal organs except for the heart were removed from the body. Well, yes, that would be a very nice overpose. Give me an actual pose, how about? Huh? Huh? Please. I wonder if the sound thing affects it at all. The texts used during this process were often personalized for the deceased with different poses birdie from various lists of spells. No two copies of the Book of the Dead are the same, therefore, and its spells were never all written in one place. This means we can never be certain we found every spell that was ever used. Many more tombs probably still lie buried under the desert. There we go. The secrets of immortality. There we go. A nice pose. Pretty bird. High breathing point and everything. Let's see if Knox will try it now. Because I like Knox's poses better. He's glorious. And pretty and glorious. Come on, Noxy boy. Oh, yes, you're a grumpy bird. Now, give me a pose. Knox, Knox, Knox. There we go. Is it Dally pose? Save that. Obviously, these poses would never be entered into shows because it's got backgrounds on. But yes, so that's what they look like in pose. Um, I'll post the pictures. Now, oh, come on, back out, guys. Brit. Court. Peter. Sally. Speck. Actually, come here. I'm going to paint one of you so I can tell the difference. Oh, now I don't know who's who. So you can go away. And whichever one's out is going to be the painted one. This way I can tell the difference between my peafowl. I wonder how they look dressed up. Close closet. He is gauge in bird form. He's such a grumpy jerk. Let's see here. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. I've never dressed him up. Oh, that's not too bad. Come here. That That's amusing. What about on the boys? How do you look on the boys? Oh, you're... 
Same thing, just full dress. What about hats? Bow. There, I'll put bows on my girls. And this way I can tell Beth who will have a blue bow. Sally will have a green bow. Nope, green bow went on someone else. No, oh, court. Sally, come here. Everyone else go away. There's Sally. Sally gets a green bow. Court gets yellow. And rainbow, maybe, will go on Brit. There. Maybe. It's got those really big side bows, though. Scrolling through the so many clothes. What do colors look like on you guys? Come here. Come here. There we go. You were not the one I wanted to put that on. Uh oh. Momentary glitch, guys. Sorry, I crashed my game. Please bear with me. The guys, I'm pretty sure it's just Daddy on here. But still, problem solved. That 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 didn't take long to fix. Harness. What do you guys look like with a harness on? E. Uh, that actually looks like. Kind of how it would look if you put a harness on a bird. Oh, don't you two fall in love. Deny your love. You. Colors don't look bad on them either. I'm really impressed with how well this file takes on clothes. But like... Look at it. It's one of the gnome harnesses. It goes on pretty well. I'm impressed. Look at me straight, don't It's lopsided, but, you know, that's not too bad. Hmm. I don't like that harness. Wait, these aren't harnesses. These are, yeah, those are halters. That's right. So I think I'm going to do the uh, collars with the big bows tied on the back of the neck. The bow collars. And if I do different colors, I'll be able to tell the difference between Beth and Sally. Stupid birds. See here, Beth will be blue. Sally will be green. Now I need to get Court and Brit. Let's do a white one on Brit. Go back and get the pink one for Court. What are these? Oh, just collars. How do you look? Hey, court. Fine, I'll use Brit. I'm not impressed. Pink, pink, pink. I, I don't think I'd be allowed to run that team in the race. Would be amusing, though. Dun, dun, dun. Have wings. Quartz is son of a. Crash the game again. Third time's the charm, right, guys? So apparently I can't put more than one clothing item on these guys at a time. Whatever. I can work with that. They consist of four ancient texts written in Sanskrit. Oldest dates from around 
they were either taught to see it as my creator. Here you go, Brit. Now, Court, come out here and get them. No. Okay, you and you go away. Go away, Brit. Go away, Beth. There's Court. Court now has a pink. Now I need Knox. Let's see what kind of collar I can get to put on you guys. Pretty boys. Maybe the boys just won't get a collar because they all look good enough. They all are different enough. It's not like Sally and Beth. The game's being a pain in the butt is what it's doing. As a remedy, two divine positions, the Ashwini Kumaras, called Iron and Triangular So Beth is in blue. Sally's in green, and the other ones are technically different enough that I really didn't need to put a collar on them, but they deserve to be in pretty bows too, so they got pretty bows too. The boys just get to run around naked. Do, do, do. Now, the question is, is where is the frisbee? The You just want him dressed up as Captain America. Do, do, do. Knox, what did you do with the frisbee? Oh, it reset my game, that's what. Options. Clean up area. What toys did you put away that I don't necessarily want put away? That one can still go away. That can go away. Go to toy closet. Options clear supply case. So I need this. And this, you guys can chase each other around. And this. Would it be wrong to feed my pea fowl chicken noodle soup? I feel like it's wrong to feed him chicken noodle soup. <sighs> Only just. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. Get the frisbee. What other things do I need for birds? Birds! Birds, 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 horse stuff. Oh, there's the other apple. I can't remember what kind of... I think you're a cheese apple, so that's not going to last long. Bye, apple! Everyone say bye to the apple. The birds ate it. And the bread. Options, clean up area, go to, play pen, this comes out, this comes out, everything come out of here. Chase the frisbee, get out of my way. And then this is dog food, dog food, pain in the butt birds, Gengar. Dog food, dog food. Go to toy closet options. There's supply case. Go back to playpen. There we go. Now we're set up again. Oh, and you guys already destroyed the apple. Fetch. The poem is full of descriptions of aircraft, similar to modern descriptions of UFOs, and also of many technologies we've only very recently invented, such as 
I thought I got rid of all of you. Dang it. There we go. Fetch. Knox looks like he's getting sleepy. I miss the dog food, yeah. I'm gonna blame Speck. I'm gonna say that his his multicolored butt got in the way. This is Speck, for anyone that needs to know. The one with the white wings, the silvered wings. The boy with the silvered wings. Fetch. That ball really blends in. Let's see here. Ah, no, it doesn't blend in quite so much. And it's still a hayish playpen, so it's still farmish, right? Do, do, do. There you go, Sally. I threw it for you. It's really nice being able to tell my two girls apart now. <laughs> oh, Brit and Beth are howling together soundlessly because the pea fowl breed fowl is soundless, but still. Not just soundless because I turned the sound off, but sound. Okay, because Atticus requested, I am adjusting the horniness. And if that doesn't sound awkward, I don't know what does. I really don't know what does. Okay, guys, move away. I'm cleaning things up. You just want to see if there's a baby pea fowl born. Where's my drink? And is it possible to break through the limitations of our ordinary consciousness? Sufism represents the mystical path within Islam. For some 1300 years, since the time of Muhammad himself, Sufis have been seeking the truth of divine. I said, um, for the awkwardness, I said, I'm adjusting their horniness to max. If that's not awkward, I don't know what is. It was not uncommon for Sufi mystics to lay down their teachings in 
Well, we've got some googly eyes from Knox, so that's a bonus. You know what? Let's just options, clean up area. Actually, let's not do that. Let me think. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Go away, go away, go away. Get out! I search for you everywhere. I look for you everywhere. Which hen are you hoping for, Addy? So the idea of the worm is that the And if he makes love eyes at one hen, he may make eyes at other hens. I'd be okay if I got babies with all my hens from him. The Sufi mystics, known as the dervishes, are able to achieve what they go. Clean up area. It is in fact a physically active form. Clear supply case. Connecting the mind, the heart, and the options. Clean up area. Go to closet options. Clear supply case. <coughs> now to get all the love <coughs> toys. See how many I have that are overwritten and can't use, but we're gonna give it a shot. The pink one is court. The white one is Brit. Green is Sally, and blue is Beth. Hmm, I hate. Oh, what the hell! It's bad for him, but we'll do it anyways. Perfume. I'll bring this out. I don't think I have any other love toys. Clean up area. Go to play pen. Options. General options. It's got to be like a heart to love one, right? The only definite clue to the whereabouts of its remains is a single verse of Genesis. Okay, let's Genesis see here. Came to rest on the of Many Cherry blossoms, I guess, are kind of lovey. Let's see here. I thought there was one that was more love. Aha, Cupid! There we go! Perfume. Okay, I gotta turn the sound on so I can actually hear the music and get to the love song. General option, sound effects on. Move! You're in the way! You're gonna put everyone to sleep, Sally. Everyone go over here. Look, there's treats over there. Go over there. There's treats. There we go. That's probably the best option. I wanted to have the love scene background thing going on, but that's just not working. Because everyone keeps hitting this thing. Okay, move. You guys are in the way. Stop it! Love 
pillow, spray, perfume. I'm getting, I'm getting the treats, you fat bird. Now, fall in love, you dumb birds, and give us pretty babies. Actually, the babies in this file are really ugly. They look like actual peacock babies. They're just little fluffs that you can't tell anything of. Can you tell I don't actually ever actively try and get my pets to fall in love? I forgot about the fireplace. Thank you, Addy. all my time in the toy closet. Everything I do is in the toy closet. I pose in the toy closet. I usually play in the toy closet. I live in the toy closet. Snoxy boy, fall in love. each other and jumping around like nuts. Yes! Stream some manans. Stream them. Let us see them. Let us love them. Let them make babies. You, I, I need some pets for manan puppies because all mine are in pets 5. Luckily, all my PFAL are Gen 1, so I don't have to worry about that. I'm not, I, I'm not a big fan of inbreeding wilds either, because most of the time I have very low gens that I, they're my lines alone, because no one else ever has any wilds. Ever. It's sad. It's so, so sad. I'm gonna have to post pictures of this, though, up on, like, RKC and Whiskerwick. Well, Speck and Sally are making lovey eyes. Nox, you're slacking. This song is annoying. Say goodbye to the pet sounds because I can only handle it for so long. But yes, and if I will take pets for manins. I would love some pets for manins. All mine are in pets five. And that's fine, but I don't don't want it. Don't want any more in Pets 5. I do, however, want to inform you that assuming Knox gets around to knocking up one of the girls, that if he happens to impregnate more than one of the hens, you'll get your choice. But you only get one if he has more than one baby, because I want one too. Otherwise, I'll just wait for his next 
his next round. Come on, there's four girls, guys. Four girls that are more than ready to get... One, two... Yes, all four girls are out. I'm just missing one. Why am I missing a girl? Ah, she's down here. I found her. Lazy bird. Come on, guys, fall in love. The end of the civilization was apparently caused by the Great Trump, sometime around 222 BC. However, there are other theories as well. One that revolves around a mysterious weapon called the Astra Lydia, which the Arabic possessed. Ancient Indian scripture describes this invincible weapon that it kills babies inside women's wounds. Anytime, guys. Well, if it's the pet spore man, and uh, you can always breed some to even out your numbers, and I can adopt leftovers. Hashtag shade is a hoarder. Seriously, guys, why is it being so hard for you guys to just give me babies? You've still got your horniness really high, just babies! Turd birds? Chase away evil and defeat evil. The legendary Tom Bashenra was distinguished by his extraordinary knowledge of astrology, as well as medicine. Speck looks really broken right now with the way he was laying down. Although we know that the Shangshu Kingdom was ruled by a total of 18 kings, no one records the mm, Yes, I do love you, Peter. Therefore, the mysterious Pet the birds. I'm sorry, Tony, you're just my least favorite. You're bland and have a bland personality. Yes, yes, Nox, Nox, coo, coo, woo her. Woo, Sally. The Olmec civilization is considered to be the predecessor of the better than the Mayan civilization. As is the case Woo, with Sally. The Woo, Mayan. Sally. Yes! We've got a Nox baby on the way! I'm gonna wait till everyone's 
either impregnated or I am just so bored of rooting for them to impregnate the girls that before I make the babies be born. Just because... Now, Knox, who's next? Be, be the, be the, be the boy. Don't knock her over, knock her up. Ha, 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 I think I'm funny. Yes, play catch with the perfume bottle. That's exactly what I want. I don't want you jerks to to do anything else. Just play catch with that. Because the writings that we discovered have yet to be deciphered. Here we go. According to many historians, archaeologists, and anthropologists, their level of knowledge was truly astounding. One possible explanation for the technological do, do, do. Oh, while I'm thinking about it, I'll link to to that. Where's my statues? Look as if they're observing the sky, waiting for something or someone to arrive. American legends say they're waiting for the return of the gods, who in distant part have descended from heaven. In our search for ancient civilizations, we must next head to southeastern Turkey, where archaeologists discovered what were probably the oldest human settlements on Earth. One of the best known of these settlements is Kapanoyo. The Rome, the Olympic Times, and the Dun 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 dun. That's not what I want to do. By way of comparison, at the time when ancient Egypt was just the dawn of its history, possibly the oldest human civilization had already existed for several thousand years in this Turkish settlement. The architecture of Anatolia, unlike the architectural style of European cities, was based on the honeycomb structure. The individual houses were accessible only from above from their flat roofs. Around the year 5000 BC, something strange happened. The city was abandoned. According to one theory, this was due to climate change. The area around the city, which had previously been well watered by rivers, dried up and the land lost its fertility. I did just share the um, read files link to the um, site where you can get the read file in the uh, chat on Discord. Because um, it is an external read file, I forgot to mention that earlier. Um, the one on the site is only Pets 5. I don't know why all other files on that site are Unibreed. But I attached the one that I converted to Pets 4, so that's up there. If anyone is seeing this later or whatever, you can just scroll through the Discord chat and see it. Um, it's like right after the first uh, heart picture uh, for, for the babies. Now, let's see here. Come on, guys. Give us more baby pea fowls. Even if I don't get a Knox baby, I want a baby pea fowl. However, the idea that the only inhabitants of the rainforests are primitive native tribes has been fundamentally disproved by recent discoveries. There, buried in a dense tropical undergrowth, a combined team of Brazilian and American anthropologists. I wonder how difficult this file would be to hex on, like hex paint, because like mysterious civilization reached its peak. Yeah, there's um. The, the, this is the extent of what you can get from the adoption center, is what I've got. I'm sure mutations will happen. But I'm curious about what um you can get. The 
Those are instructions. Remain a mystery. Honestly, the fact that I've only got this many, I think, is proof that I can sometimes kind of have some control. Say they were used for communication with extraterrestrials. In the second half of the 17th century, this unknown civilization change. Scientists point out this coincides with the time when the first Europeans started to venture into the depths of Amazonia, lured by the prospect. And I like doing streams like this where. I just have pets sitting, breeding, hopefully, jerks, breed, please, please, pretty please. Suppose I can put Sally away, because I mean, she's already got a baby on the way. So come on, girls, pick a boy, any boy, any boy, any boy, pick him, pick him, pick him, pick him. Pick him. I'm actually kind of disappointed that there's not an all-white male peafowl that you can just get from the AC. And their civilization lasted until the second century BC. They founded city states. But I could probably hex one. Or one with like piebaldism. That'd be interesting. Wonder if there are piebald peafowl. Go, go, gadget, Google, and there is, and they are glorious. Absolutely original culture, own language, exceptional skills, and merge from. How did their society develop? We still cannot answer many of these questions. Do, 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 do. The attitude of the Etruscans to both life and I kind of want to like get species, a bunch of lizards from the lizard file that's also available on the All same site that the PFAL file comes from. Social status, but maybe some other time. But in the end, not even the elaborate rituals of the Etruscans could protect the twelve Etruscan cities from attack by the Celts from the north and the Romans from the south. Their civilization is remembered. Waiting today for the as babies, the waiting for the babies. Ha ha! Beth and Tony. Lovely. Oh well. Eden of At least it's another baby. Right? That, that's that got to count for something. Even if it is Tony. Okay, Beth, you're going away. And also the Sumerian men of an ancient civilization which inhabited this important maritime link between Mesopotamia and the fertile valley of the Indus. Okay, two more girls. Come on. No, wait, that's the button I wanted. The Sumerian myth Ain't in Inkosai takes place on the wonderful island of Dilmo, where lions do not kill and the wolves only not prey on the lambs. There is no grief because there is no death or disease. In the early Dilmun period, the religious beliefs and practices were almost the same. I'm not sure what Peter's doing. I think he's laying there letting the girls fight over him. And bury their dead with their possessions and their graves. Speck seems to be very jealous that two boys have already gotten busy. No, they're not um VPZ files. They're um uh, crap. Um SWK. Um, oop, wrong button. Oh. Archaeologists continue to uncover more I, I, graves. Silent Wolf it's Kennels. There are, there are Silent Wolf Kennels, um, graves, tombs, file. Many of them contain the remains of children's skeletons, or the skeletons of snakes and 
Um, just post the link. But yeah, Silent Wolf Kennels is the uh, file they are to hex them, not uh, BPZ. They are, that's where I first thought they came from, and I've spent forever digging for them and couldn't find them. And then realized, well, it's probably not a B it's probably not one of Vicky's breeds then. Yet the more we learn about this ancient culture that spanned southern Mexico and these I wanna say Vicky the silent wolf kennels also has a really cool looking um tortoise file. Um Manda is the one who who hexed these guys, as well as a couple other files that are up there, like the roe deer. Um, I've got a few of them, too. A really tiny mouse file. Doesn't breed correctly, because the scales pets has size, but yeah. But the, they've got a um really nice land tortoise file, actually, that I kind of want to give a shot to. I want to say I had one years ago in Pets 5. I may still even have the file somewhere. would have to dig for it. I want to say I adopted it from um, Pinecone Cattery, actually. Let's go back to the question of where the names came from. The chronicles Popol Vuh and Chilapalam describe the arrival of the Mayans in their homeland. Because that's the just too damn cute. Tula, where the ancestors and it's going to make me very sad that it's not another Knox baby, but I guess I can accept Peter and Brit. The Mayan term Tula means both the center of transcendental forces as well as a purely physical location. So is it possible that Tula in fact refers to the process of transcendental ascent, the way of accessing other worlds? When the Mayans wrote about other worlds, what did they mean? Were they describing the evolutionary steps of intelligent life on Earth? Or was it a description of events in space? Atlantis. In all the discussion about lost civilizations, the Alpha and Omega must surely be the mystery of Atlantis. The great philosopher and historian Plato first wrote about the civilization of Atlantis in the 4th century BC, which in itself is a strong argument in support of its existence. Plato wrote that Atlantis was a naval superpower that conquered much of Western Europe and Africa. However, after a failed attack on Athens, it sank to the bottom of the ocean in just one catastrophic day and night. All the boys the want court. Plato only wanted to present a model of an ideal society. Mm. Well, then you don't necessarily need to even out your numbers. You just gotta let multiple boys have multiple girls. Come on. I want a baby from court, guys. Many researchers believe that the Egyptian civilization had its roots much further back in history. Could it be true that the Egyptians and the pyramids ah. had a legacy of ancient Atlantis? According to these theories, the famous Sphinx in Giza has a secret hidden room called the Chamber of Records, which holds documents well, I'm not sure we're going to be getting anyone out of Britain, Knox. He was kind of glaring at her. No, 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 Knox. You're not allowed to sleep. 
up to the end of the last ice age, the sea level rose, and a much island landmass and everything disappeared as a result, including the nickname Atlantis. Those who survived probably moved to either North Africa or Western Europe. Atlantis still remains a mystery and will no doubt continue to baffle historians for generations. Mm. Well, that, that was nice. That was very nice, Tony. Thank you. The fate of these long vanished civilizations is still <laughs> <true>. <laughs> do, 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 do. Some Leave it alone, Nox. Fine. I'll throw down treats, but I expect some babies, guys. That's the deal. Treats for babies. That's how this works. Okay. You guys got your treats. Now eat them and get me some babies. I gotta go get a drink, so I'm just gonna leave these guys up here glaring at each other and stuff, and hopefully we'll have another heart when they come back. Whether Christianity, Islam, or Buddhism, all religions worship the remains of prophets, beatified figures, and saints. But these are not just the ordinary remains of extraordinary people. The world of sacred relics is surrounded by mystery. We will explore and investigate ten of the most fascinating relics ever discovered. The Shrine of the Three Kings. Cologne, in Germany, is home to one of the biggest cathedrals in the world, the Cathedral of St. Peter. This cathedral is surrounded by legend, and it's been said that when the building falls, the world will come to an end. The altar of St. Peter's is decorated by the reliquary of the Three Kings. The reliquary, one of the largest in the Western world, is said to exude a powerful energy and bring people closer to God. The gold-plated chest made of silver and over a thousand gems is believed to hold the remains of the three kings. Who were these venerated men? According to the Gospel of Matthew, they were wise men called Magi. These wise men from Persia supposedly knew many secrets and could foretell the future. Do the remains of the reliquary really belong to the three kings? This question was partially answered when the reliquary was opened in 1864. It contained the remains of a young, middle-aged and an elderly man. This corresponds to the image of the three kings on a mosaic in Ravenna dating from the 6th century AD. However, the shrine of the three kings is not important because of what it contains, but because of the message it brings. An inspiring, holy tale of three men who gave up everything to go on a pilgrimage, following a shining star to Bethlehem to see Jesus Christ. Get off my computer. Yeah, um, the, uh, Pets A doesn't, it only does name tags in, uh, Pets 5. It doesn't do it in Babies, and it doesn't do it in Pets 4. Um... <laughs> well, I'm glad you got your even numbers. Um, we expect to see pictures, Addy. That is mandatory. Um, 
Still no babies. You guys suck. You guys suck so much. Baby peacocks. Awesome! I will definitely watch your stream then. Um, you know how to set the stream up, right, Addy? Because it's. Wake up, you jack jerk face! Scientists and believers were so fascinated by this relic that they even made an ultrasound scan of part of the image, Mary's womb. Incredibly, they're said to have heard the beating of a heart. Dun dun dun. Where oh where? If you guys would stop the taking that down, you'd stop getting sprayed with it. Just saying. The foreskin is a fold of skin covering the glands of the penis, which Abraham, forefather of the Jewish people, cut off as a sign of the pact between man and God. Jesus himself is said to be circumcised, and today his holy prepus, or foreskin, is one of the strangest of all the holy relics. Bum, bum, bum. Hurry up, you guys! No! Don't, you do not get to sleep! No sleeping for the birds! Babies! 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 Move! Babies! Babies! Knox, babies, babies, Knox, babies. This relic mysteriously disappeared, reportedly stolen by a priest. Some also speculated it was stolen by Satanists or even by agents of the Vatican. The Vatican had issued an edict in 1900 saying whoever worshipped the Holy Foreskin would be excommunicated. The reason for this is not clear. But what can be said for certain is that the <sighs> Court and Brits, come on. I want more than two babies. Yeah, I've been checking it off and on. It's up at 67, which is usually about the time they breed. Between like 45 and 70, I've noticed is the sweet spot. But these two aren't even making any lovey eyes at anyone. Turd birds. If carried in front of an army, it guaranteed victory in every battle. It's not known where this mythical relic is located today. But according to the it will one day unleash the apocalypse. It is still the most uh, holiest and respected object as it is. It is the most precious. Come on, I want to see some lovey eyes out of you girls. Knowing my luck, they're going to give each other lovey eyes. For the communication of the people between his people and himself. The Ark of the Covenant is purportedly. This is actually my first time breeding with this file, so we'll see how they come out. I'm not sure how well the variations work in it. Around the year 1000 BC. I'll turn the music back, box back on, Knox. There, see, all better. Now, girls! Several times throughout history, the Ark was stolen and returned. Did the Ark have the power of recognizing those who were not able to use it? 
Okay. Okay, I'm seeing Brit make some eyes at someone. The question is who? And the eyes are gone. Nothing up there for you to play with. Well, the toy box. If you guys continue eyeing the toy box, I'll put that away too. Damn it, Knox. No toys. Haha. -ha. Just the just the pillow. Now, babies. Come here. Okay, I see some lovey eyes from Knox. Ooh, 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 Knox and Brit. Come on, I'm okay with that. Don't worry about fighting with the boys, Knox. Worry about getting it on with the girls. In fact, the character Indiana Jones was inspired by a real man named Lendl Jones, an archaeologist who searched for the relic in Israel. Come on, Knox, we want more babies from you. You are the chosen one. The remains of Mary Magdalene. In 1191, the Bishop Hugh of Lincoln visited Come on, girls. He's glorious. He's beautiful. Flirt with him. Okay, Peter's pretty too, but I prefer you flirt with Knox. Historical sources quote him as saying, If a little while ago I handled the sacred body of the Lord with my fingers in spite of my unworthiness, why should I not treat the bones of the saints in the same way? We can assume easily that uh, the community that goes uh, and follows uh, Jesus says in this beautiful building, together with the Yama Benena, and they were studying together, praying together, which is Unbelievable. Mary Magdalene was a devoted follower of Jesus Christ, a penitent to him. He is. He's beautiful and glorious and beautiful. Oh, 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 lovey eyes. It's been said that she preached the gospel in southern France. And I'm pretty sure they're directed at court. Come on, court, you and Knox. We all want it. Court! Wake up! Wake up! There's one legend about Dominican monks from Lausanne who were attempting Wake up. exorcisms. The monk wielding the supposed arm of Mary Magdalene began the process of exorcism when the voice of the devil laughed at the fake remains he was holding aloft. There are also known cases when the veneration of Mary Magdalene's relics did bring success. For example, the inhabitants of the German city of Lübeck allegedly won a battle against the Danish army thanks to the relics. The hand of Mary Magdalene is carefully guarded by the monks of the Greek monastery Semonas Petras, who have witnessed several miracles. By using the relic and holy water, they were able to prevent swarms of locusts and a devastating fire. Come on. Come on. To several neighboring monasteries and Come on, Brit. Or court. Okay, not together, you guys. Yeah, I keep adjusting their energy levels. I'm pretty sure court has sleepy sickness. Because she'll be up at, like, 90-something and go, I'm tired. So does Brit. I should take him into Lens and fix that. Wake up. Don't do it. 
pain. Wake up. There are several places that claim to have the tooth. One is the Buddha Tooth Relic Temple in Singapore. Wake up. The tooth kept in this temple was allegedly found by a Buddhist monk in 1980 in the ruins of a sanctuary in Myanmar. Believers hold the relic in great esteem and collected 45 million American dollars. Come on, guys. Come on. Palace. There's plenty of males to go around, Court. You don't need to pick a fight with Brit. Since 2013, when it was given to them by a relic collector. This two inch long tooth is roughly four. Okay, Tony, Peter, Knox, stop having a bromance. Thank you. Yeah, you three can have a rom bromance. No, 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 Knox. Knox, you and Tony do not get to have a bromance. You get the romance going on with the girls. Okay? Girls. To Knox. Girls. Girls. Hens. Look. Look. Hens. Pretty little hens. But the relic is most often mentioned in connection with the temple of Buddha's tooth in Kandy, Sri Lanka. Since the 4th century, the Sri Lankans have believed that this relic can boost one's magical and spiritual energy. The Buddha's tooth in Kandy has been celebrated in the Benahera Festival since the 18th century. During the festival, people come oh, to the come on, guys. houses a golden container which holds Buddha's tooth and bring offerings of lotus flowers and fruit. For the people of Sri Lanka, the tooth is a part of their identity. And this was known by the enemies of this Buddhist state. In 1998, the Tamil Tiger separatists placed a bomb in front of the temple. The building was damaged in a subsequent blast, but curiously, the tooth remained unscathed. Hopefully your manins will be better behaved than these guys. ...is the spear that belonged to the Roman legionnaire Longinus, which, according to the Gospels, he plunged into Jesus Christ. They know that as soon as the hens are impregnated, they're going away. Maybe next I'll do the, um... Not, not... Today, probably, but at some point I'll do the llamas. Because I have a llama breed file. I want to say that one is a VPZ. I'm not, I'd have to double check on that one. It's a cat file, though. It's really adorable. We can have faith and hope that they will be well behaved. Oh, Peter, stop being a grumpy butt. Well, fine, you can be grumpy. Just let, let Knox, let Knox woo the girls. Or even Tony. I'm okay with Tony wooing the girls. Or Speck. Or anyone. Just woo the girls. Come on, guys. You got the very plain, solid-colored girls. Now, now you got these two pretty girls. Come on. In the past, several relics have been passed off as the lines of Longinus. It may be Tony and Court. <laughs> the ancient capital of Armenia. Church officials do not allow anyone to examine or photograph it. Another theory is that the Americans took it to the Pentagon after the liberation of Austria, leaving behind only a replica. Wherever the lance of Longinus is, one thing is certain. Whoever has it, Intends to keep it a secret. The remains of Saint Peter. <laughs> the remains of the deceased Pope. What if I put this away? During the excavation. Okay, cool. Cool. Come on, come on, Brit. Make, make love eyes at Peter. Court, wake up. ...containing the supposed remains of St. Peter, the first pope, was uncovered. For a long time, Pope Pius XII kept the discovery. 
Speck, you're slacking. You're going to be the only boy not to get anything. Tony's going to get two girls. Probably because you're a bit of a jerk and you push them around. See, you pushed her, and now you got you got Tony all mad. Right. Yeah, I didn't miss any. Yes, Court, look at Knox. Look at Knox. See, see his beauty. See his charm. Love him. Ignore Speck. He's being an ass. Court and Knox! We win, Addy! We win! Pray for the holy Christian buried near your body. This led to the discovery of a mysterious wooden casket containing the supposed remains of St. Peter. This then became the subject of many scientific inquiries and speculation. Okay, Court, you gotta go away. And now, Brit! You're the last w hen standing. Oh, don't look so sad, Speck. You were being a jerk. Come on, Court. You can do it. Pick one of these lovely boys. Peter, Peter would love for you to pick him. Knox is pouting. Please don't pick Tony. No, no, stop, stop making eyes at Tony. I don't, I don't, don't, don't want more brown peacocks. The the there we go, he's recovering. Come on, Knox. Turn your eyes on Brit. Or, you know, I guess you can have a bromance with... Okay, cool. You and Spec can fight it out. Meanwhile, Court's over here going, Look at me, I'm pretty! I probably shouldn't have shaken her. Are you seriously eyeballing Speck? He's a jerk. Come on. Come on, Britt, you're being difficult. Unnecessarily difficult. The Shrine of Turin is still the subject of much debate. But for the Church and believers, what matters most is the spiritual symbolism of the Shroud, rather than its material authenticity. The Holy Grail. Did I call Brit Court? I didn't mean to. Maybe that's why she's mad. I've been calling her the wrong name. Come on, Brit. Really? Tony? Tony? I'm afraid she's going to pick Tony. Or possibly Speck. The Holy Grail is peculiar in that it may not be a material object, but a spiritual And she is currently being 
carried around by Peter. From an esoteric and philosophical standpoint, the Holy Grail could be... No, 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 wake up! Truth, ...leading to the path of wisdom hidden inside all of us. According to the Church... Yeah, the comments are kind of lagged. I'd be okay if 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 Peter and Prit had babies. Just just any 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 of them, any of the boys. There, come on, come on, yes, yes, yes. Love on each other, love on each other. Go to the center of the screen, dance around each other. Come on, come on, Knox, Knoxy boy, Knox, Knox, Knox. Come on, Knox. Knox and Brit. Knox and Brit. Give me three or four from Knox. Come on, Knox. Societies and orders influence world events have always existed. To those who adhere to conspiracy theories, come on, Knox. All you gotta do is go over there. She's yours for the taking. Look at her. She says, "I'm, I'm pretty. I'm ready." C come on, Knox. You're pretty. I just want to sleep, and she won't let me sleep until this is over with. Come on, Knox. The Skull and Bone is an undergraduate secret society at the prestigious Yale University of Connecticut. Established in 1832, You'll get to make Tony mad, Knox. Come on. Selected senior students of Yale The elaborate mythology, rituals, and secret activities all had just one aim to create a tight knit brother. Definitely no love lost between <laughs> Speck and um Tony. I love when they growl. The way their beaks move is so funny. Some symbols associated with the club give people pause. Some speculate that they're linked to the Nazi tales of Hitler. And there goes Peter carrying her around again. Come on, you guys. Center of the screen. Certainly, the shots came from more than one direction. It's funny when their beaks levitate. The decision to drop the atom bomb in Hiroshima at the end of World War II. Right! 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 Peter went and screwed it up. Stop breaking your back neck to look at the boys. Just just pick one. Just say, come on, pretty boy. Whichever boy you want to pick. Come on, Brit. The roots of the Freemasons possibly reach back all the way to Freemasonry is surrounded by an aura of elitism, 
mysterious rituals and conspiracy theories. Don't be broken, Knox. Stop standing in the same spot like a weirdo. This mysterious association was to educate and enlighten. However, unofficially, it was rumored that the Freemasons aimed to destroy religion and establish a new totalitarian order. According to some conspiracy theories, Freemasons were behind the French Revolution at the end of the Peace, peace already! World War One and the sinking of the Titanic. Keys, keys, heart pop up. To become a member of Freemasons, one has to undergo a complicated initiation ritual, which most Americans don't pass. Yeah, that's what I ended up having to do. However, many important public figures and members, for example, President Franklin D. Roosevelt, magician Harry Houdini, and composer. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart were all members of the Freemasons. According to several researchers, there are many themes from Freemason philosophy in Mozart's opera, The Magic Fruit. Today, the Freemasons no longer keep their existence a secret. It's a well known organization. If Tony can sleep, I don't care. And many individual lodges all over the world. Although the Freemasons themselves claim they are mainly involved in charity and philanthropy, don't do it, Peter. That the Freemasons actively intervene in world oh, affairs okay. to this day. Yes, yes, love eyes. We like that. Who Peter, stop being pissy. It's a well known fact that many of the Nazi leaders in Germany, including Adolf Himself, were very interested in ancient mythology and occultism. They believed esoteric secrets. I swear, if you've gone into the trance again, Knox. Who and Drill, two secret societies linked to the Nazi theology, underpinned these beliefs and inspired the Nazi leadership. The occult society go on, Knox. Go, go, make, make her your head. Be the rooster. Be the peacock. The origin of the Aryan race, the legendary ancient ancestors of the Germans. The activities of the society included rituals, the invocation of ancient divinities, and the search for the black. Knox, you're a turd. Energy gave Germany enormous power. Okay, what did you guys do with my poor hen? Oh, there she is. I see her now. The members of the Drill Society, another secret organization closely associated with Nazi ideology, <sighs> preoccupied with the study of the Aryan race. Their activities were even more focused on the search for Well, I've got to emphasize something. That would also be able to travel into space. They saw themselves as godlike super beings. Okay, Peter, woo her, woo her. It was revealed that the Nazis did in fact try to build many secret weapons, including flying saucers. The boldest theories claim that the Nazis actually managed to construct. He's going to show you how it's done, Knox. You're failing. Another theory. How'd you get too pregnant already? This line of research. Some people are convinced that both the fool and real societies still exist to this day. It was not by picking fights with Speck, you the jerk. Oxford University, one of the oldest universities in the world, is home to the Bullion Club, which has been in existence for <laughs> 200 <laughs> years. The all-male bullying club is noted for its wealth of members, boisterous, carefully guarded rituals, and initiation procedures. These are allegedly extremely humiliating and brutal. After numerous acts of alcohol-induced disorderly conduct, for which none of its members... Okay, I just moved the, the horniness level up again. Members 
I'll let it drop one more time before I say screw it and force Breeder to probably knock. Cause knocks. There we go. Okie dokie now. Everyone goes away. That means you, Brit, and Speck, and by Knox, and by Tony, and by Peter. Let me make sure I have my settings right. Baby should be born instantly. Okie dokie. Here we go. Beth. Let me... Okie dokie. Let me fix it so that you can see the baby's birth certificate when I pull it out. Bad. Window. There we go. Interest in esotericism, occultism, grew rapidly in the second half of the 19th century. Probably the most famous occult association, the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn, was established in London in 1888. There we go. You should be able to see the birth certificate now. Hopefully. The Golden Dawn had a hierarchy and initiation similar to the Masonic Lodges. Dun dun dun! Let's see here. It's a little girl from Beth and Tony. Mm, looks like she has a little cap on her. I'm gonna call her Cappy. One. Stop. We will take her up to age 12. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Go to Toy Classic. You go in there. You go in there. Go away! No, Brit. Another girl. Her name will be Sylvia. And again, age it up to 12, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, family room, go in, now for Knox's babies, court. Ooh, it's a boy. His name can be mm, not Bucky. Oh crap! Let's go with Vlad. TV just mentioned Vlad the Impaler, so why not? Do, 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 do. According to conspiracy theorists, 
the Templars perform ritual sacrifices and carry out assassinations and try to influence do you not, major events oh, across medieval do you not have it up? Perhaps so do you. it was this that led to their downfall. Huh. Apparently, with the stream for the birth certificates. However, according to many research, this was not the definitive end of the Knights Templar. Many Templars allegedly continued to meet in secret and established organizations, passing on. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Generations. After the order was dissolved, many Templars escaped to England and Scotland. Some people believe that they brought a large part of their accumulated treasure with them, including some important Christian artifacts, such as the Holy Grail what? and the Ark of the Covenant. One popular theory has it that the Templars later hid their treasure, including huh. the aforementioned artifacts, in Scotland at the site where the Rossford Chapel was later built. Oh, that. I don't care. There's another theory, however. Huh. Apparently, you have to select the birth certificate every time, so I think I'm just going to end the stream. I don't know, because I've got one more baby left, so what? whatever. Let's say... Age you up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Go to Toy Closet. And you can go in there. And then Sally. I bet this one actually is a boy. I think the other two, the other boy doesn't actually have a boy tail. I think this is going to be the only one with a boy tail. Tippy. Because the other ones are very centered in their little profile box, and this one is not. Go to close closet. Come on, jerk face. So we've got math. The Hispanic institutions. They control the music, media business, as well as other important industries. Many people scoff at the idea of an Illuminati conspiracy. It would require an unbelievably sophisticated system of concealment, which today would be almost impossible to manage. Okay, Addy. You either get Vlad or Tippy. But conspiracy theorists think otherwise. They claim. The of the like I said, I'm pretty sure the only one that's actually got the male tail feathers is Tippy here. But we won't know until they grow big. And I kind of like the surprise, so. Okay, I'm going to age him up because I doubt I'll actually get around to naturally raising him. I called it Tippy's the only one. Who has the male tail feathers, but inherited none of the textures? That's really interesting. So, I'm gonna put him away. Go away, guys. The world's elite meet in one place, often a luxurious European hotel. You like Vlad? This is Vlad. If you would like to change him to a female because of the tail, you can. If not, I'm perfectly okay with that. If you'd like Vlad, I'll keep Tippy. But Tippy's going to be turned into a boy. Because that tail. I'm probably get some braxing going on. The face, his face, he's missing his beak. So, if you'd like Vlad, I'm going to make a note of that. Vlad, this goes to Addy. Um, 
is to discuss the current challenges facing the world. But according to one theory, the recent subprime mortgage crisis and the subsequent economic crisis was actually... I'm going to get a picture of all of them in pose. In just a moment. Apart from several US uh, uh, presidents uh, holding up the group's meetings, members have I'll go away. No fix. Go. Come here, Tippy. In 1973, the German politician Helmut Schmidt was invited to the Bilderberg Conference. A year later, he became the Chancellor of Germany. Oh, did I spell Vlad wrong? You you can of course rename him to whatever you want. Come on, Tippy. We're getting you in a pose. Whether you like it or not, bird. Oh, I need to get rid of background. There we go. No, Cappy, go away. You're not coming out. Social, economic, and political turmoil. In the Italian town of Bellagio, the seat of which Rockefeller family, a group of people, you've inhaled your father's posing abilities. You're a turd bird. Has a limited number of members, a hundred to be exact and consists of only the most elite figures. It's said that members of the club have included former Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev, former US President Bill Clinton, and former Vice President and global warming activist Al Gore. <laughs> I want a Dane pose out of you. And when people see in their own Damn it. lives the kind of consequences that the scientists have long been warning us about, it, it does materially change the way people feel. No! The club started revealing the results of its work. In 1972, it published a study in which it warned of the uncontrolled population boom that would lead to the complete devastation of our planet. Conspiracy theorists are convinced that the club is constantly trying to lower the world's population. <sighs> There. Social order. According to the most colorful theories, the club is even responsible for natural disasters. There we go. Tippy. Misspelled Vlad. Is that the club of Rome truly exists? And if its members are relatively active, even in public. But is the club really prepared to use all the Necessary to achieve its goals. Opus Day. Many people only learned about Opus Day, a mysterious women only organization, a few years ago when it was accused of holding people prisoner during mm. a legal dispute in Paris. Come on, Vlad. However, the charges were dismissed, and the true nature of Opus Dei remains unknown. Opus Dei was established in 1928 in Spain as a Catholic organization, supported in only by the Pope himself. It teaches that the Come on. That was really good. Not quite, but really good. Closer to God. However, the American writer Dan Brown claims in his novel The Da Vinci Code that Opus Dei is a criminal association behind a large-scale plot to guard some embarrassing secrets of the Catholic Church. While the novel is fictional, it does raise an interesting theory. The first, also repeatedly to the sidewalks, this albino assassin uh, as a monk, uh, the Opus Dei monk. Now, 
A person who refers to an Opus Dei monk either doesn't know what monks are or doesn't know what Opus Dei is. You can see I'm not a, an albino. You should not stylize as albino. Come on, I Sylvia. I don't live in the headquarters of Opus Dei. I have a wife and children. Some researchers go even further. According to them, Opus Dei is an extremist right wing organization. They point to the fact that important figures in the organization were and are active in far right governments. When fascist dictator Francisco Franco governed Spain, Catholicism was proclaimed the official religion of the state, and Opus Dei reportedly became something of an intelligence agency. However, critics say that Opus Dei is a dangerous cult with strange rituals and a strict hierarchy involved in many scandals, including holding children prisoner Come and washing them. Furthermore, many of them speculate that Opus Dei is linked to various criminal organizations, or even that it aims to take over the world. The list of secret societies that are supposedly trying to gain power and influence world events is a long and colourful one. Some of these societies have been hiding in the shadows for decades, even centuries. Come on, Tippy. Sylvia, whichever one you are. Presenting themselves as a charity or an education organisation. You will have to decide for yourself whether this is the truth or a carefully calculated facade. I'm kind of wishing that their eyes would do, like, the mutating thing. They won't because of the type of balls they are, but... That, then I could have a pink-eyed albino peacock. I could probably still hex one that way. Yes, Netflix, I'm still alive. For centuries, electricity remained one of the world's great mysteries. It was considered a supernatural, mysterious phenomenon, or the manifestation of God's power. With the dawn of scientific inquiry, electricity became something tangible and explainable. Today, scientists still face many mysteries. Come on, you're the last one. I get your pose, and then I'm ending the stream. That's all we got to do, Cappy. Awesome, Addy. I'm just going to get Cappy's pose, then I'll get Vlad ready to send over to you. And... I'll end the stream after I get Cappy's pose. Dun 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 dun. Da, da. Maybe. Come on, Cappy. This ability could be used in alternative medicine. Indeed, this is claimed to be the mechanism by which homeopathic remedies work. The Japanese researcher, Masaru Emoto, gosh darn it, research into water crystals and claimed that human consciousness can have an effect on the structure of water. He proposed that water had a memory and that it could react to positive thoughts and words. There we go. Water and so now I'm 